and I'm just feeling comfortable and confident with everybody on the road. As long as I stay in my space, I know that I'm going to be okay. And since I know that the car behind me didn't follow the law when they went through the tunnel, I'm just thinking to myself, well, I'm not going to let you speed behind me and make me speed. Hey, it's Jacqueline, and for the next few minutes, I want to talk about you feeling confident as a new driver. And that's a lot for me to ask because I don't know how much practice you've had. I don't know how you're feeling about driving, but I do know that when I'm working with new drivers, one of the things that we have to establish is a feeling of you're the driver and you have to confidently take the wheel so that you can make safe decisions while you're the driver. So when we're thinking about developing confidence behind the wheel, we're thinking about how you know how to drive, you know how to use all the car's equipment, you know what you're looking out for, and when you're out on the road, you allow yourself the opportunity to practice and learn without feeling like all the other cars around you are mad at you. A couple different scenarios where new drivers feel bothered by other drivers are when a new driver is driving the speed limit and cars behind them want to speed, other cars might tailgate or follow too closely behind you, the new driver. And I just want to encourage you to settle in, feel safe about your driving and your speed, and don't let somebody behind you push you forward and make you feel like you have to speed. So just remain confident and calm as you're driving. Another thing that can happen with new drivers is that every horn that they hear, they think is directed at them. But the truth is, when somebody locks their door, it sometimes makes a little horn. And there are lots of other cars on the road, so somebody could be honking at someone else. Don't necessarily assume that if you hear a horn, it's directed at you. So even if you hear a horn, just try to feel confident and calm that you're doing all the right things. Another thing that can be really hard for new drivers is understanding who has right of way. So when you're out on the road, try to look at the road and remain confident. If you have the right of way, you continue forward, expecting that cars on the sides will stop for you. So we're gonna go driving around for the next few minutes and we're just gonna think about, oops, I forgot to take my brake off, that happens. We're going to think about how to stay confident and calm as a new driver. As I'm preparing to make my right turn, I'm aware of the car behind me. And I know that the law says that I can make a right on red if I want to. I'm going to creep up. Actually, light turned green, so I didn't even have to worry about it. But that can be something that new drivers sometimes feel uncomfortable about. Should I make a right on red? Should I wait? And what I want you to follow as your pattern is, if it's safe, you can consider a right on red. And if it's turning green for you, even better. So my speed limit's 25. I've got cars behind me and ahead and I'm just feeling comfortable and confident with everybody on the road. As long as I stay in my space, I know that I'm going to be okay. Going through a tunnel can feel scary for a new driver, so I just want you to think about how the width of the lane is the same. It feels like a smaller, tighter space, but for sure we're gonna be safe as we pass through. And one thing we're gonna to do to make ourselves even safer is turn on our headlights. So 
So I turned on my headlights, that's the law. And it also just gives us a little bit of safety. So cars coming toward us will be able to see our lights, just like we can see these cars to the left. And we noticed that some cars didn't follow the law. And that's okay too. We're safe. We're not as worried about what they're doing, but it is important to just notice. And since I know that the car behind me didn't follow the law when they went through the tunnel, I'm just thinking to myself, well, I'm not going to let you speed behind me and make me speed. So my speed limit's 25, I'm keeping my speed in control. And now I'm transitioning to a space where the speed limit is 20. So I'm going to be even slower on the lookout for pedestrians, on the lookout for cars that could be reversing. And I saw the friend with the blue sweater kind of turn and smile as they looked toward me. And that was my indication that they were going to start walking so I could slow and stop. And I didn't worry about the car behind me because of course I'm supposed to stop for the pedestrians and then they stop for me. And that's just something I have to feel comfortable with as a driver. Check the link in the bio to ace your permit test and master behind the wheel training. So when we're thinking about feeling confident and comfortable out on the road, we're thinking about taking our space, following the rules, being aware of other cars and what they're doing, but not letting it make us nervous. As long as we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and we're looking out for hazards, we are going to be safe. And all the way down this road, I have the right of way. So I'm going to be the through traffic. And unless there's a hazard, like a pedestrian or a car reversing, I get to feel comfortable that it's my turn to go. So I'm scanning and looking. The speed limit's 20. I'm aware of the car behind me and I just keep driving straight, following the speed limit and keeping my eyes out for other people and cars. I saw that pedestrian arrive at the corner, but I could tell they were coming and arriving and pausing. It wouldn't have made sense for me to slam on my brakes. In that case, the car behind me would have every reason to be a little bit annoyed. Here, I just slow a bit because I see the 15 and by staying within the slower speed limit I can keep my eye out for all the different kinds of hazards that can happen in these tight spaces. So part of feeling confident and calm is being aware and not having to make any last-minute decisions. I know that I have the right of way. I know that cars on the right and the left have stop signs. And so I just continue safely and comfortably to drive down the road. As I prepare for my left turn, I have to feel safe to wait, knowing that the car behind me is gonna wait patiently until it's safe for me to go. And the reason I'm mentioning that is sometimes I drive with new drivers who feel bad about making people behind them wait. And the reality is we have to wait for other people. We have to give other people the time to make their safe decisions. So you'll wait for people sometimes and sometimes people will wait for you. It's all okay. And it can also be helpful to remember that no one was born knowing how to drive. So everyone was a new driver at some point and you taking the time to learn 
is better for everybody else because we're all safer when we're all good drivers. And on that red light, I didn't even think about making a right on red because there was a lot of traffic that was coming down from the left. So I just hung out. I'm going to do the same work I always do. I'm going to maintain my speed limit. I'm aware of the car behind me that looks like it wants to drive faster, but they're just going to have to slow their pace to the speed limit. Even though it feels like they're tailgating because they're closer to me than they should be, I know that I'm still safe. I just try to ignore them. So as a new driver, our goal is to be aware of everything ahead of us, looking out for hazards, maintain the speed limit, don't let anyone make you feel like you should be speeding. And by responding appropriately, you're gonna develop the confidence to know that you can keep yourself safe. So the more time you spend out on the road practicing in these safe, controlled ways, the more calm and comfortable you'll begin to feel. I know a lot of people share that they just feel really scared about driving. And that makes sense because driving is something that if people don't do it correctly, there can be big consequences. But as you're learning to be a driver, we're thinking to ourselves, speed limit's 25. So I'm going the speed limit. And if the person behind me has a problem with it, that's up to them. One thing I can do as a new driver to avoid people who want to speed is always choose the right lane when you have a choice. The right lane is a slower lane. So not that anybody in another lane should speed, but sometimes they do. We stay in our right lane and that gives space for faster cars to pass on the left. So I can see that the speed limit is 25. I'm near a police station, which would make us think that people would drive the speed limit. And we'll see how it goes. Around the corner, there's a flashing speedometer. I'm gonna maintain the speed limit of 25, and we'll just see what other folks around us do. And again, the reason that we're thinking about this is that a lot of new drivers share that they feel nervous because everyone around them is driving faster and they feel bad for driving the speed limit. And I just hope that you will learn to feel comfortable, to follow the rules, and just keep a safe pace that's going to match the speed limit. It'll help you not get tickets. And the big theme is don't worry about what other people are doing. You just keep yourself safe. And the car that was behind me that visibly wanted to drive faster is now on the left. As we approach the speed limit of 25, we can see that they are increasing their speed. They're getting flashed at 32, 31. And all we did was drive toward the next light. So them speeding five or six or seven miles over the speed limit didn't position them in any way that was better than us following the speed limit. So I hope that's another reminder that you should feel confident that you're not only following the law, you're doing the smartest driving. There's no reason to speed from one spotlight stoplight to the next. And we can see that really clearly by us driving along with this group of traffic. And I hope that driving along with cars, some that are driving the speed limit, some that are speeding, just gives us a real life example of how for a new driver, it can feel a little bit uncomfortable if you don't have the confidence 
to know you're doing the right thing. Do not be discouraged by people behind you that might be tailgating you or honking or passing you because they want to go faster. Instead, settle into the idea that you're doing all the right things by driving safely and by driving the speed limit. Thanks for checking in today to check in and I hope you feel a little bit better about being a new driver and just taking your time to develop your confidence. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.